Many people are under the impression that God used the Big Bang when he created the universe. This video addresses whether or not this is indeed the case. Here are a few things that is claimed by the Big Bang theory. First, the Big Bang claims that the universe is expanding. This is based on the discovery of the red shift. Another claim of the Big Bang theory is that the universe was extremely hot. It is believed that the expansion of the universe allowed it to adiabatically cool to an ambient temperature of about 2.73 Kelvin. A third claim made by the Big Bang theory is that the universe had a beginning. Interpolating the expansion of the universe backwards in time reveals an infinitesimally tiny point known as a singularity. The book of Genesis in the Bible also claims that the universe is expanding. One can also infer from it that the early universe was extremely hot. Like the Big Bang, it also claims that the universe had a beginning. With the Bible's claims that the universe is expanding, it mentions that a firmament or space was created on the second day. When God said, let there be light, one can infer that the universe was extremely hot before it began to expand. This is evident by the fact that the hotter an object gets, the shorter the wavelength of light it emits. We humans emit light in the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. As objects get hotter, they begin to emit light in the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Case in point, the glowing burners on the stove. Therefore, one can infer by the creation of the light that the early universe was extremely hot. The Bible also claims that the universe had a beginning. Here is a quick review of what the Big Bang Theory and the Bible claim. The Big Bang Theory claims that the universe is expanding. The Big Bang Theory also claims that the universe was extremely hot. It also claims that the universe had a beginning. Here's what the Bible claims. The Bible claims that the universe is expanding. This is not only found in the book of Genesis, but also in other areas of scripture. From the creation of the light, it is inferred that the early universe was extremely hot. Also, the Bible is clear that the universe had a beginning. So now the big question is, does the Big Bang Theory agree with the Bible? The answer is no. no, no, no. Here's why. The Big Bang Theory points to the beginning of the universe from a singularity. This singularity is a gravitational singularity, which by nature is infinitesimally small. This is derived from interpolating the expansion of the universe backwards in size and thus time. When the math points to infinity, one has likely exceeded the true range for what it is that is being calculated. Therefore, if one gives this singularity an infinite amount of time to expand, it will remain infinitesimally small. This is the true nature of infinity. Therefore, by definition, a universe expanding from a singularity is unfeasible. Consequently, scientists describe the expansion of the universe as beginning from a point smaller than an atom. This makes it sound as though the singularity was minuscule in size but not infinitesimally so, despite its true definition. Here's what is more logical. By observing an expanding universe, one can infer that the universe has become large over time. From the math, one can interpolate the size of the universe if it were in existence at a certain point of time in the past. Logic, however, dictates that the universe began at a point in time between the present and the time in the past where the math points to an infinitesimal size. Therefore, the universe had to have a tangible size when it first began. The realization of this fact leads scientists to describe the universe as beginning from an extremely tiny point rather than a singularity which essentially would be a size of zero. Now the Bible, in the book of Genesis, claims the following. The universe had a beginning. This is found in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. The early universe was a glow. This is found in Genesis 1 and verse 3. And with it being a glow, one can infer that it was extremely hot. 
Genesis 1 and verse 6 reveals that the universe expanded, forming space itself. Later in the passage, it reveals that the stars were placed in the firmament of the heavens. The discourse between the Bible and the Big Bang theory lies with the initial size of the universe. The size of the universe before it expanded is described in Genesis 1 and verse 2 as the deep. This is a clear indication that the universe was extremely large to begin with, even before it began expanding. Therefore, when interpolating the size of the universe back in time, one has to stop long before the math reaches essentially zero. One thought is that the initial size of the universe was likely the sum of the volume of all the physical matter it contained when it first began. Therefore, in conclusion, one cannot simply marry the Big Bang Theory with the Bible. In doing so, one denies Genesis 1 and verse 2 as truth. Moreover, the Big Bang Theory follows mathematical interpolation far beyond what is physically logical. Therefore, the Big Bang Theory does not agree with the Bible. I hope you found this video quite informative and thank you for watching.